Well, here we are, day one of CES for 2018. We're on the LG stand. Very popular stand already and the theme of the show this year is obviously smarts smart home being able to control devices from the kitchen into your entertainment the laundry across the board it's all about control but it's all about putting intelligence behind that control and LG's done that with their new thin cube technology so a lot of their products has that embedded so you can actually talk to the products ask them to do things a lot of their products including all their TVs will also have Google Assistant built in so you can just ask the TV to not only to control what you're watching on the television but also ask it to look at your photos or to ask it a question or perform tasks anything you normally do with Google Assistant you can now do across the board on our LG's new products and yes they've got new OLED TVs and speakers and all these other kitchen appliances which we're going to take you through now but the theme of the show, as I said, is smarts and connectivity and how they all work together. Part of LG's booth this year are some prototype robots we'll be seeing in the near future. They're designed to help people. There is a shopping, shopping robot, a server robot, even a porter robot. So you can imagine at the airport, you can, be, you can ask one of the robots to carry your bag. The shopping robot actually doubles as a shopping cart. So you can put your groceries in, scan them as you go, so it, it'll tally up all your groceries in the basket so that when you're done, you walk straight out. There's also another robot here that can be even used in a hotel to serve room service. So you can imagine a hotel of the future, you getting a knock on the door and opening the door, you'll see a robot out the front serving your room service. So some of the, uh, some of the robots we're gonna see uh, in LG's future, their roadmap has these prototypes. So here we are, this is a living room scenario. So you've got your television, you've got your air purifier and your air conditioner. And this is a classic example of what you can do with the ThinQ technology. So by talking to the television, you can ask to turn up the air conditioning or change the light colour. So all these commands straight through the television can then interconnect to the other connected devices on the network. So if you're feeling hot, turn the aircon on, change the colour of the lights, and of course you can even change what you're viewing on the television. You can even tell the television, uh, turn off after this program, or what, what other movies is this actor in? So you can go, dive right into the content as well. So in the living room, you're fully connected. Well, the kitchen is arguably the busiest room in the house, and it too has been enhanced by LG's ThinQ intelligence. That technology allows you to control various appliances, including the refrigerator. The refrigerator is actually an access point that you can talk to to access all kinds of information the same way you would if you were standing in front of the LG OLED TVs as well. So you can ask for information through the refrigerator. You can also check the air conditioner. You can turn the lights on and off. There's all various controls, so the appliances that are connected can be controlled, but you can also receive notifications. So if the washing's done or if the oven is, is the, the cooking is finished, there's even a feature where if you are taking a, an item out of the fridge, you can actually inform the oven based on the information of that product on what temperature the oven needs to be set at and just how long it needs to cook as well. Now we've already spoken about the intelligence built into all the LG products, the TVs, the appliances, but there are also a range of sensors that's going to really expand LG's Internet of Things story. These sensors can detect like fine dust particles, there's a temperature sensor, smoke, carbon monoxide detectors, there's even a leak detection sensor as well. So once all these detectors move into action, once the temperature reaches a certain level, it'll turn the air conditioner on. If the, the fine dust particle sensor reaches a certain point, the air filter will be switched on. So all of these, these devices, these sensors are all working together. So the people living in the home really don't have to think about it. Once these sensors move into action, then the devices that you choose will turn on by themselves. If you're wondering what's inside your LG refrigerator, well, you don't even have to open the door. They've got a feature called InstaView, where you just knock on the glass for you to see directly inside. So you're not letting any of the cold air out. 
The good news is the Instaview feature is going to, going to come down to a wider range of the LG refrigerators in 2018. Well, LG might be entering the laptop space in Australia. There's a possibility we may see the LG Gram laptop computer in Australia. It's running Windows, but weighs less than one kilogram and has a battery life that apparently will exceed others in this class. So that ticks a couple of boxes that may interest retailers to stock this in Australia in 2018. This is LG's ultra-wide monitor. It's got a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. And just check out that screen real estate. Perfect if, not only if you're a gamer, but if you're an editor, you need a lot of this screen real estate. You're, you can run different parts of the screen for different applications. So forget buying multiple monitors. You could do, just make do with one monitor. And the beauty of it too is that if you want to run a laptop, it all it takes is just one Thunderbolt cable and you can power a screen with more than 5K resolution. So when you, when you come up close to the screen, you'll notice the resolution is excellent. So this is definitely on my shopping list this year. LG has some new 4K UHD projectors in 2018, but they're not the traditional projectors that you'd expect. Traditional projector needs to be mounted or positioned meters away from the screen to achieve a large screen size. Well, with their new models, these 4K UHD projectors are actually short throw projectors and can generate an image of up to 150 inches just standing a few, not even a meter away from the screen. So really easy, you don't need to have a massive room and a massive throw length to have a big image. These short throw projectors can give you the big picture, but only from a short distance. Now on the audio side, LG also have a lot of interesting products, but they've also partnered with Meridian Audio, very respected audio company. So they're going to have uh, portable speakers as well as Google Assistant speakers as well. But also their sound bars have gone to the next level. The Dolby Atmos offering is going to be spectacular. And now with the Dolby Atmos sound bars, it, the sound bar itself can actually replace the stand on your OLED TV. So no need to look for room on your entertainment unit. The Dolby Atmos LG soundbar actually will replace the stand on your OLED TV. LG's LCD LED TVs have nano cell technology built in. And what that allows for a better viewing angle. So you think about it, how often are you sitting directly in front of the television? Not very often. Most of the time we're sitting off angle. And depending on the type of TV you're watching, the quality degrades the more you're sitting off centre. With, with LG's new NanoCell TVs, you can still be sitting up to 60%, 60 degrees I should say, off the centre angle, off the centre line, and still enjoy the picture quality that you would as you would sit in front. This is a remarkable demonstration about how the difference between the two different televisions, sitting at 60 degrees, still get a good picture, the other TV, not so much. They did say that if you're sitting at 60 degrees with a traditional TV, a conventional TV, without nano cell technology, you're looking at picture quality that could be a TV that's 10 years old. So having the nano cell technology allows you to sit at all these various angles, but still enjoy the great picture quality. Well, here it is. This is LG's jewel in the crowd, their OLED TVs. This is the W behind me right here. This is their wallpaper OLED TV ultra thin, super picture quality. And while it might not look very different from the outside, on the inside there's been a lot of changes, including the inclusion of their Alpha 9 processor. That's added even faster processing time. I think it's 50% faster than before. But it's also added uh, an, a better ability to upgrade standard definition and high definition video. It's also provided the range to go up to 120 frames per second, per second, so it's really smoothed out the image as well. So all of the OLED range from LG are gonna have those Alpha 9 features. They're gonna be in sizes 77, 65, and 55 inches for your OLED panels. And of course, Google Assistant, everything built in. So these are sure to be a very popular television in 2018.